Hi, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use ANSYS Fluent to simulate the car aerodynamic performance. The first thing we need to do is open the ANSYS Workbench, and we create a new Fluid Flow Fluent file here. And then we can set the geometry, mesh, and the simulations step by step. First, we double click the geometry, and a new window comes up. We can import our SOLIDWORKS model by choosing Import External Geometry File and select our IGS file. Right click on the import one and generate it. Then our model is imported to ANSYS. We can check our body here and make sure your imported body is solid body. If there shows surface body, it may have some problems of your model, so you will need to go back to your SOLIDWORKS and uh, check your model. Okay, after importing the IGS model, we need to create an enclosure. We create the enclosure under the tools and select the enclosure. And we set the non-uniform cushion and two meters away in the XYZ direction from the car. Since we think the negative Y is the ground, so it's just only three inches away from the car, so we just type three inches, which is about 0.0. 7.62 meters. After this, right click, generate it. So we can see there are two bodies here. One is the car, another is the enclosure. So we need to create a balloon. subtract the car body from the enclosure. So the operation is sub subtract. Target body is the enclosure. And two body is the car. And remember to generate it. So we can have the car surface in the enclosure and the two bodies become only one body. So we are done with the geometry. We go back to the ANSYS and we can see the geometry is correct here. So we go to the mesh. Mesh is easy here. Since we only need to select the mesh size we want. In order to get a precise simulation, we usually use the fine mesh. But I just use the coarse, coarse mesh as an example since the coarse mesh has the fast, fast speed. So I just use coarse here and uh, right click generate the mesh and let it mesh themselves. After the mesh, we need to define the inlet surface, outlet surface, moving wall, ground, and the car surface. So we define the inlet surface here. Here's the inlet. Outlet, 
moving war. You can press the control tab when you select the war, so you can select all the war together. Here's the moving war. We can check the surface here. You can see inlet, outlet, moving wall. ground and the car and make sure the surface are correctly defined then the mesh is done we go back to the control panel and update it then you can see the mesh is correct here so we go to the setup And we can check our mesh. No error here and report the quality. The model we use is K Y. So here it's not laminal. It's K Y. Okay. The flow material is air and make sure the density and the viscosity is right here close we set the inlet velocity is 20 meters per second and it's the negative z direction the pressure at the outlet is zero here At the moving wall, it's moving wall, and it has the same speed as the inlet velocity. The ground is standard wall, and no slip here. So these are boundary conditions. Our simulation compute from the inlet. And we said the reference area is one meter square. So that the CD calculated here is the CDA. Change the pressure to standard pressure calculation and the first order upwinding to calculate the moment. Create the drag monitor around the car surface. At the Z direction, go 
create the lift monitor around the car surface at the y direction. Choose the standard initialization, compute from inlet, and make sure the velocity is correct and initialize it. After all these are done, run the calculations. At least 25 times and click the calculate. Wait it to calculate itself and it may take a while. Okay, finally get our calculation down here. So we can get the lift coefficient and the dra drag coefficient here. Um, since I'm using the course mesh here, so the result may be not very precise when comparing the fine mesh uh, results. Um, here you need to check the result to make sure you run enough time to get the result stable. Like here, since the drag coefficient is still decreasing, which means I didn't run enough time to make the result constant. So, which means we need to run more time. So we need to increase the number here to run longer time to get the stable answers. After you get the number, you also can get the pressure and the shear distribution graphs. We need go to the graphics and select the contour. And like if we select the pressure at the car surface, we we'll set the display. So we can have the So we can have the pressure distribution of our car and we also can select the war sh shell stress and display and it gives us the shell stress distribution. This is how you get the graphs. Also you can get the streamline. We go back to the control panel and select the results. Um, after we get into the result, we can set the streamline here. We just click the streamline and set OK. Um, set the type is 3D streamline or domains. Start from inlet and use about 100 or 200 points. Apply. You can have the streamline across the car body. So we click the animation, select the streamline 2 or 1, and play it so you can see the animation. So that's all I have for the answers. The video is done here. Thank you.